Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Yuma, Arizona. What am I doing here? Well, just enjoying my day um, and making a video for you. Something I want to talk to you about. It's a cold day outside. Babies are in here on the bed. Where's Martini at? Look how nasty I've got my bed. Ooh. There's that Martini. You, you must have snuck up. You must have been hiding. You snuck up on daddy. You did. Yeah, I got my baseball cap back on. Not a lot of sun today. And my hair's kind of messy, so I threw it back on. Your baby's going to stay inside. I got to I got to do a video. They've been playing with this piggy 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 <laughs> all morning. Look at those rain clouds. Rain will be here later on this afternoon what they said at first now they're saying it'll be here in a couple hours but it's enough to hurt everybody's solar so my buddies here they're running their generators charge up the batteries my solar's doing pretty good but let's get to the meat and potatoes here of the video you may remember the other day I went to uh, the post office to mail off my sticker orders to you guys and uh, Miss Gypsy had an antifreeze leak. Let me show you that little clip right here. Well, I went in to the post office and mailed off my letters and I came back out here on the where I was parked at and I noticed this on the ground. <sighs> always something, always something. And I don't think that's, that's coming from the top of the engine. So, gotta figure it out. I got a good RV. But this is why you always look under your RV every day. I've been parked in the dirt, so I don't know if this is something new or something that uh, has been doing it for a little bit. Well, fortunately, I had a good experience dealing with a mechanic here in town and called him up and uh, asked if he could uh, take a look at it. And he said, sure, bring it right on over. Uh, but he was going to make his guy stay late to do it. And I was like, no, no, no. Uh, I'll be up here, I'll come see you in a day or two and let you guys take a look at it. He said, that'll be fine. Now, a lot of people ask me, they said, well, Kevin, I thought you were handy. Can't you find a, uh, an, uh, an antifreeze leak on your own? Well, actually I did find one on top of the engine all by myself. But the distance between the radiator and the engine on this V10, I, I can't get up in there and see it. I'm not a mechanic, but you know, I did maintain my work vehicles, my business trucks and stuff through the years. I had, you know, I, I didn't turn the wrenches by myself uh, all the time, but you know, I did take it to people and have it done. I started out turning wrenches by myself, but it just, it wasn't, it wasn't cost effective for me to uh, waste my time turning wrenches or I didn't have the right tools didn't have the parts, so I learned pretty quickly. For me, it's better to pay somebody to, to do it. Now, it was leaking in the same exact spot that it was leaking before when I was up at Moses Lake in Washington State camping with uh, James Wanderlust Estate. Um, long story short, I had the lower radiator hose replaced on Miss Gypsy. I also had a new serpentine belt put on. 
This shop, this shop charged me $300 for a lower radiator hose. And they charged me $600 labor to put them on. Well, here's a little clip of me being at this shop. The guy that worked on it, little Hispanic guy, little dude, didn't speak any English. So he had a guy there that was an interpreter that uh, was telling me what he said. The owner was not there. And uh, let me play you this little clip right here. I want you to listen very carefully to it. So tell me that again. The, the new well, they put the, the, the water hose. The new water hose I just yeah. put on. Okay. They didn't put the they put the clamps, but they didn't they were they were not tight enough. They didn't tighten they didn't tighten them. Put them there. It's a so shot. They were it was coming off the top. Okay. So that means that it, that's why it was dripping water and it was running down the hose. Now imagine my surprise. I had just paid six hundred dollars. For this lower radiator hose to be installed and the belt installed two and a half months ago and then he said something else uh, after I cut the camera off so when I went back up to the driver's seat I opened up my window and I asked him the same question again listen to what he has to say hey so you, you think that shop was trying to get me to come back huh yeah, that, that, that's, that's a sure thing. It's a sure thing. Oh, yeah. Since uh, they rip you off so bad, they, that's one of the things I know for a fact that that's the mechanic, too. Yeah. Oh, he won't get too far. He's going to come back again and we got to. Got him again. Him. I don't get beat much. Sometimes. Well, we always. We all go through the same, you know. Karma. Karma. But you know what? What comes around goes around. It goes. It's a circle. Yes. He might he might have ripped you off, but somebody else is gonna rip you off. It's so bad that he's gonna regret it. He, he he won't he won't forget me. Oh he won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, just go back all the way straight, like you are right now, straight. Mm -hmm. Now I'll turn the street. Now go ahead and ask me. Kevin, did that make you mad? I was beyond mad and I drove around for about an hour taking care of different things, uh, little errands and whatnot. Then I sat down and I made a five minute rant for you guys. I was livid <laughs> and I went back and I watched the clip this morning I said, I don't, I don't think I need to put that on, on video. That's that's not a that's not a good thing to do. It's not a good way to be. So I've waited several days before I talked about it again. So I made a post on my Camper Van Kevin Facebook about it. And there were people there that were saying that they really didn't want to hear this kind of stuff on my channel. I'll rest my hand up here on the RV so I'm more steady. There we go. And uh, they didn't want to have any, they didn't want to watch drama. So I, I guess everybody wants sunshine and puppy dog tails all the time. Is that true? Uh, I think people, they like sunshine and puppy dog tails. But I think a lot of people also like to know about real life out here on the road. The ins and the outs, the good and the bad. Maybe I'm not trying to create drama. Maybe I'm just trying to tell you. Maybe I'm just trying to let people know what kind of things can happen out here. Right? And they said, well, you didn't give this other shop a chance to defend itself. Okay. You're telling me for $600 you can't tighten up the clamps correctly? On my new $300 water hose? I'm 1,500 miles away, 18, 15 hours, 16 hours from their shop? No, I'm further than that. 
That's just to Idaho. How am, I, how am I supposed to handle it? <laughs> With all that money I spent for nothing? I mean, I learned a lesson. Shouldn't I be able to share that lesson with you? What, what do you want to see on the Camper Van Kevin channel? And I, I do, I try to provide a, a good, positive, uplifting videos a lot of the time, video a lot of the time. But that's not real life, is it? So, changing hands, changing hands. So you're not gonna get the five minute rant when I was mad. You're gonna get me jibber jabbering for minutes and minutes, days and days after I've had time to cool off. Bottom line, he fixed it. You know how much he charged me to tighten up the water hose clamp? Zero. He found it and fixed it. Not just clamp, clamps. So they refused to take payment. So I tipped the guy really, really good for his Christmas. The leak is fixed. No more leaks. I've been watching close. He got it. That's what it was. So there you go. That's our video. All right. Maybe not what you expected. So I'm in this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we will see you again soon. You guys take care. Happy New Year, everybody. Y'all be safe.